our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Come and sit down. Would you like a drink? Oh, yes, please. I'd love a gin and tonic. Do you like olives? Or would you prefer crisps? Oh, just olives, please. What music is this? Do you like it? It's Irish music. It's great. Where did you get the CD? Arm. I think it was in the CD shop in the mall. Have you been there? Yes. I buy a lot of stuff from there. It's a good shop, isn't it? Yes. Hey, I've got some photos of our holiday in Ireland. Would you like to see them? Why not? I'd love to. This party rocks. You said it. Good beer, good music, and on top of that, there are so many hot girls here. I'm with you on that. Check out that one over there. I think I'm in love. Well, she's all right, but not really my cup of tea. What about the blonde with the red dress? Oh, that's Janice. She's just new in town. You have a thing for blondes, eh? Yeah, she could do anything she wants to me. I bet. Why not go over and talk to her? She's really nice. I don't think so. I get so nervous talking to girls. I always put my foot in my mouth, scare her off, and end up looking like a real fool. Besides, she is way out of my league. Come on, man up. You'll never know until you try. Okay, okay. Just let me have another cup of beers to get my head in the game. All right. But I think you ought to move soon. Why? I can see five other guys eyeing her up. Okay, here I go. Good luck. What's the matter with you then? You look miserable. It's us. What do you mean by us? Well, You always say you're busy. That's right. And you often go back to live with your parents and leave our son in the room by himself. I, I, I miss my parents. Also, they miss me. Oh, I remember. I cut terrible calls, and you didn't say anything about it. You mean I am groaned a few words? Totally not. Perhaps it's about our marriage. What is your favorite pastime? Fishing. It's great fun. Is it? Mine is climbing mountains on Sunday mornings. No wonder you always look so active. Hey, Claire. You've been really quiet these last few days. Is something wrong? I've been really stressed. It's the end of the year and I've got so much stuff to do. I feel like I'm drowning in work. Well, stress is a real thing. It's not an imaginary condition. It's seriously affecting my life. I can't sleep. I don't have much of an appetite and my husband says I've been kind of short tempered. Other people seem to handle stress okay. Why am I so weak? You're not weak, you're stressed out. Stress has been a part of the human condition for millions of years. Back when we still lived in the trees, we had to watch out for predators, and as you might imagine, that was pretty stressful. Yeah, but I don't see any tigers or leopards roaming around our office. My stress is just about silly paperwork. But you're actually having the same reaction as our tree dwelling ancestors. It's called the flight or fight response. 
Each time you feel like something's threatening you. Your body decides whether to run away or fight it causes all sorts of chemical reactions in the body. So a deadline will cause that same reaction? It could. Modern humans actually have more flight or fight responses than our ancestors did. They just had a couple of close calls every day. But today, we have dozens or even hundreds. So the life of a cave woman was less stressful than my life? I didn't like my brother's batting around without doing anything useful. Maybe he is trying to find a job. When he finds one, everything will be settled. I hope so. What are you doing this weekend? I'm going to the movies with a friend. How about you? I'm not sure yet. Well, did you want to go see a movie with me? What movie are you going to see? I'm not sure yet. Is there something you want to see? There's nothing I can think of. So, did you want to go? No, thanks. Maybe another time. Okay, sounds good. Okay, guys, here's the plan. Get the ball to the goal. And keep it away from Rich and Taylor. Why? Are they good? They played ball at school. Here we go. Yi Jun, go out for a pass. I'm ready. Whoa, what a hard throw. I can't get that. Catch it, Yi Jun. Run to the ball. Uh oh, slow down. You're going to hit. U M M M P H. Which is more interesting to you, flying kites or going roller skating? Well, flying kites is more fun to me. I've got no kite. Do you have one? Let's go and buy one. Welcome to our restaurant, Shea Attitude. Our reservation is under the name of Foster at 7 o'clock for four people. Yes, Mr. Foster, our hostess will be with you in just a moment. We would like to begin with a cocktail while we are waiting. Would you tell the hostess to please come and let us know when our table is ready? I will let her know where you are. The patio tables look really nice. Could we be seated there, please? I could seat you right away at an outside table if you would like. Thanks. We'll sit out there then. We will just order our drinks out there. Well, can I start you off with some cocktails while you are looking over the menu? Yes. Why don't you bring us a bottle of the House Chablis with four glasses to start with? I'll get on that right away. We appreciate your help. When's your birthday? It's just around the corner. Mary seems depressed. What's the matter? She didn't expect to get a kick in the teeth after a day's hard work. Poor girl. Hey, you, pick up that piece of garbage. Huh? Me? Yeah, you. I just saw you throw a piece of garbage on the ground. Can't you read the no littering sign? It's a $500 penalty for littering, so go pick it up and put it in the garbage can over there. Why should I do that? It's only a piece of garbage. Why should you care? Because this is a public place, and I want to spend my time here without having to look at your garbage. Listen. I really don't know why you're making this into such a big issue. It's only a small piece of garbage in a large space. 
it's not like there's garbage everywhere. Besides, someone will come along to clean it up at some time or another. It's not the cleaner's responsibility to pick up after lazy people. It's part of your responsibility to make sure that the place is neat for other people. If everyone thought like you, there'd be garbage everywhere. The cleaners can't be everywhere. Okay, whatever. See, I'm putting it in the garbage can. Hold on, that's an item. You should put that in the recycle bin next to the trash can. Do you have any more questions? No, sir. Let's call it a day then. Good. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for joining us this evening at Shea Attitude. I am Mr. Foster, and we have a 7 o'clock dinner reservation tonight for four people. Welcome, Mr. Foster. If you would have a seat in the lounge area, our hostess will be ready to seat you in just a moment. We are going to have a drink while we are waiting. Please let the hostess know that she can find us there. She will come and let you know when your table is prepared. Those patio tables are new, aren't they? Would it be possible to be seated out there? An outside table is available right now if you would like to be seated immediately. We would love to sit outside. Thanks for your help. Here is your table. And now may I take your drink order while you are considering what to have for dinner? Yes. Could you please bring us a pitcher of margaritas and four glasses while we are figuring out our dinner order? I'll put your drink order in and be right back to get your dinner order. We'll be ready to order by the time you get back. Do you think the bad weather will last long? I don't think so. It changes so quickly this time. I hope so. We have planned to visit the square but we have to cancel it. I think you can go to visit the museum. It's worth seeing. You can go to the square some other time. Good idea. Thanks a billion. What would you reckon the taxing increases? Well, the state will benefit a lot, I suppose. But what do most people think about it? Ah, it's hard to say. What time is it by your watch? I'm sorry, my watch has stopped. It's 2.42 by my watch. But it moves a bit fast. Let's ask someone else. Ha! For three hours while you threw up. And Femi dumped me for that. I really loved her. I'm so sorry, Taylor. Go talk to her. I'm sure she'd be happy to see you. She probably wouldn't even recognize me. She's probably married. Yi Jun said Femi was talking about you. So get out there, Tiger. Was she really? So you're telling me there's a chance? Can't hurt to try. Carpe diem. Who can say if we'll be here tomorrow or not? I'm deeply grateful for all you've done. You're welcome. I enjoyed helping you. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.